Donuts have no curvature. You might be thinking, uh, excuse me, what are you talking about? Because donuts obviously look curved, but in mathematics, a donut or torus has zero curvature or zero Gaussian curvature to be specific. Why am I making this video? Well, we're making a game called Planetsmith, an open world voxel survival crafting game set on spherical planets. We often get people in our comments asking about why we use hexagons and 12 pentagons to form our planets, and commenters making suggestions on ways we should do it differently. And in one video, people freaked out in the comments when I said, donuts have zero curvature. So I knew that this video is sorely needed. There are three types of curvature, zero curvature, positive curvature, and negative curvature. For any shape surface which has zero curvature, we call this Euclidean geometry. If it has positive curvature, we call this elliptic geometry or spherical geometry. If it has negative curvature, this is called hyperbolic geometry. I think we can all agree that a sheet of paper is flat and has zero curvature. But what if I roll that piece of paper into a cylinder? Your first thought might be yes. Clearly, you had to curve the piece of paper to make the cylinder. But in actual fact, it has zero curvature. And not just zero total curvature, but zero curvature everywhere. But why? To measure the surface's curvature at a point on that surface, you need the product of the two principal curvatures for that point. To calculate those curvatures, you put a tangent plane on that point, then place two normal planes that bisect the surface through the point. One where the surface is curving the most away from the tangent plane's normal, and one where the surface is curving the most towards the tangent plane normal. The intersection of the normal planes with the surface are the two principal curvatures. Multiply these together and you have the Gaussian curvature. As you saw, because one of the principal axes was zero curvature, this multiplied by the other axis caused the total curvature to be zero, regardless of its curvature. So to have any curvature both of our principal axes must have curvature. This is true for every point on the cylinder, resulting in zero total curvature. But what if we go one step further and curve that cylinder into a donut? Surely that has curvature now. If we measure the top of the donut, we get the exact same result as the cylinder. One of the principal axes is zero, arising to zero total curvature. But if we measure a point on the outside edge of the donut, we get positive curvature. Oh, it seems the commenters were right. A donut does have curvature. However, look what happens when we measure the inside edge. It has negative curvature. To get the total curvature of the donut, we have to add together all the points on the surface together, a surface integral. Doing this, it turns out that the positive curvature and the negative curvature exactly cancel each other out to get zero total curvature. So there you have it. A donut does have zero curvature. Now. One important feature to realize is that if the surface of your shape has positive curvature, there is no way to deform that shape's surface so that you have a different type of curvature. It doesn't matter how much you bend, stretch, or twist it, as every time you do this, you will add an equal amount of positive and negative curvature. If you try and wrap a flat plane around a sphere, you end up with too much material, resulting in all these folds you can see. 
you would need to cut the plane and remove material for it to fold perfectly around the sphere. This is obviously a famous problem with map projections. The opposite occurs if you try and wrap a flat plane around hyperbolic geometry. The plane will wrap in one axis, but you don't have enough material to wrap the second axis. This is why curving a pizza slice into an arc gives it so much rigidity, as the slice will be in tension because it needs extra material to flop downwards. As long as you don't cut or glue your shape, it will remain the same in terms of curvature. So this is why we use a subdivided icosahedron to create our planets, and why we can't just take a 2D plane and curve it with camera effects. If we do, it might look like a spherical planet locally, but it will actually have the geometry of a donut. This would ruin any orbital mechanics and space travel, or even simple surface navigation if we want it to have the same properties as walking around a real planet. Now, any true flat earthers out there need to realize why you can't walk off the edge of a flat planet. It's not because of the Antarctic barrier mountains, it's because you're actually on a donut. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to add Planetsmith to your Steam wishlist. We have a public playtest coming up shortly, so join our Discord too if you want to take part. Links are in the description.